Okay, so again, as we are reviewing solving for a term, we're going to be solving for y. The reason is, why are we solving for y? It gets equations into what form? <coughs> y equals mx plus b, which is slope-intercept form. So if we're solving for y, I want us to follow the directions. We're going to highlight it. I'm just going to highlight it by circling it. The second step is to use distributive property if necessary to get rid of parentheses. Do we see any parentheses in this problem? No. So the next is we're going to use addition or subtraction to move entire terms to the other side of the equal sign. Which one of these are we going to work with? What? The 3x. It is a positive 3x, so how are we going to move it? The entire term. That leaves us with 4y on the left side of the equal sign is equal to negative 3x <coughs> plus 16. Did I, say, did I say the wrong thing, but I wrote the right thing? It leaves me with 4y on the left side is equal to negative 3x plus 16. Negative 4y. That's what you guys are trying to tell me. Thank you. I did have coffee this morning. <laughs> Blame it on the snow. I hate driving on slushy roads. It makes me nervous at some of its ice. Okay. Um, the next step. Use multiplication or division to get rid of the coefficient in front of the variable we're solving for. We're at that step now. What's in front of it? A negative 4y. Not just negative, not just 4y like I tried to say, but we have a negative 4 there. So we are going to divide every single term here by negative 4. <clears throat> Anything divided by itself is equal to 1. That leaves us with a y. And I've got negative 3 divided by negative 4. What happens there? Positive 3 over 4x. That's my rise over run. Minus 4. I have 16 divided by negative 4 gives me a negative 4. <coughs> I want you to practice that on the problems on the inside and we'll do some comparisons in a few minutes. <laughs> 